Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio is one of the world's best amusement parks, boasting over 17 roller coasters and over 70 different attractions. Cedar Point is considered America's roller coaster. Like I said, with 17 roller coasters, they boast some of the best in the entire world. And I'm going to give you the top 10 roller coasters for 2024, including Top Thrill 2, where I think it will rank. If you enjoy roller coaster and theme park content, consider subscribing for more content and help us reach 100 subscribers. And if this video gets to 1,000 views and 100 likes, we'll be doing a giveaway for a Cedar Point merchandise. We'll start at the honorable mentions from 17 to 11. At 17, we have a Wilderness Run, a kid's roller coaster, and it's the tamest out of everything here. Number 16, we have Woodstock Express sitting right next to Wilderness Run. 15, we have one of the roller coasters that started it all at Corkscrew. 14, we have Cedar Creek Mine Ride. 13, we have Blue Street. 12, we have Gemini. And 11, we have Iron Dragon. Starting our list today at the 10th spot is new for 2023 from Zamperla is Wild Mouse. This roller coaster I rode for the first time this year. It is butter smooth and it has some good elements and it can be forceful at times depending on how much spin you get on your ride. This was a great addition to the new boardwalk area and it really completes the area with a lot of kinetic energy. But I really do enjoy this. It's great for families and for thrill seekers depending on, like I said, how many spins you do get. In our ninth spot, the conversion from Mantis, we have Rougarou. This is a B&M sit-down roller coaster that was formerly stand-up. Rougarou does get a lot of hate, and a lot of the hate did come from me at one time, but I think this roller coaster truly showed its colors this year, and it is a good roller coaster, and with the amount of good roller coasters Cedar Point has, it does fall to the middle of the list, but overall, it is smooth. It does have some janky transitions, but overall, I do enjoy Rougarou a lot better than I did a few years ago. Also, make sure to comment your top 10 or top 5 roller coasters at Cedar Point. And if you don't want to do that, comment your number 1 roller coaster at Cedar Point in the comments. I'll be responding to every single comment down below. At number 8, we have one of the most popular roller coasters at Cedar Point is Val Raven, a B&M dive coaster. This roller coaster stands above the park in the middle over in the new area that was converted from the old show building now to Val Raven's plot for its roller coaster. The views you get from this roller coaster to the top, especially on the sunset or coming in the morning, are absolutely beautiful. You can even pay $200 to walk up to the top of this at 5 o'clock in the morning and watch the sunrise for the Val Raven Sunrise Walk. With an over 200 foot drop, this roller coaster is butter smooth and the dive into that and the hold is just one of the best feelings in the world, especially if you're front row and you really do are facing down straight at that vertical drop. And fun fact for anybody watching, Val Raven does spell out Ohio for Script Ohio. So it's a very interesting fact and homage to Ohio State with spelling out Script Ohio. At the number 7 spot, we travel just a few feet over, over to Raptor, a B&M invert. If you can tell, there's a lot of B&Ms on this list. Raptor is one of the original B&Ms in the park, and it truly stands the test of time. Through the mini inversions, this roller coaster is a great invert. It's not one of the best, it's not one of my favorite inverts, but overall it's whippy, it's fast, the transitions are great, and overall it just gives you a good view. Raptor is one of the oldest inverts, but like I said, it still stands the test of time to this day. At the number 6 spot, this could be controversial for two different opinions, I have Magnum XL200. Magnum is a aero creation, and this roller coaster truly, truly did start it all for Cedar Point, which really put Cedar Point on the map back in 1989 with the 200 foot drop and the first roller coaster to be considered a hyper roller coaster. I know some people that have this roller coaster in their top 10 of every roller coaster they've rode in their life, and some people that have it as the worst roller coaster they've ever had in their life. For being this old, this roller coaster truly does stand up in the smoothness department, especially when you get to the middle of the ride. And as you get through the tunnels, there is some good forest, and then you hit the Triangle Hills at the end, which are absolutely monstrous for airtime, and some people absolutely love that, and like I said, some people absolutely hate that. But this aero creation truly does stand the test of time, and I don't think this ride is going anywhere, anywhere soon. At the number 5 spot, we have Gatekeeper, the roller coaster that transformed the entire front gate into the masterpiece it is today. Gatekeeper took over the disaster transport and space spiral pot of land in 2013 and transformed the front gate to what it is today. This beautiful roller coaster does transform the front gate with kinetic energy with the keyholes and the near miss elements. From the drop, and if you do ride it, do lakeside because it is best side. You can get some forceful elements, an airtime hill, some near misses, and the keyholes. That's what the ride is famous for. It isn't the fastest, it isn't the most intense roller coaster in the world, but it is one of the smoothest I have rode. 
There is days when this roller coaster can be a little bit bumpy with the B&M rattle, but overall, I think this roller coaster is a masterpiece. The near misses are one of my favorite elements of any roller coaster with going over the front gate, adding a lot of kinetic energy to the area. But if you want to experience a better wing coaster, just travel down to Indiana at Holiday World with Thunderbird. At the number four spot for the fourth best roller coaster at Cedar Point, we have Millennium Force, which truly made Cedar Point what it is today, back in 2000 being the first Giga roller coaster by Intamin. Some people say this is Millennium Forceless, but I personally get a lot of forces on this ride, especially hitting the bottom of the first hill going into the overbank. I almost gray out every single time I ride this roller coaster. You might not have the best airtime because it's a lot of overbank turns and floater airtime, but I think this roller coaster truly is one of the most legendary coasters of all time. It will forever be in my top 25 because it's just iconic. It was the year I was born, and it's uh, just one of the best roller coasters in the world. And there's other roller coasters that are coming out today that are better than this, but you truly have to appreciate the icon that it is. And the views you get from the top of Millennium Force at 300 feet are absolutely breathtaking, especially if you get a night ride or a sunset ride on this roller coaster. And number three, new for 2024, I think Top Thrill 2 will take the third best roller coaster spot at Cedar Point. Top Thrill 2 was a recreation of Top Thrill Dragster by Intamin, now it is being reimagined by Zimperla. Top Thrill Dragster originally launched 120 miles per hour up a 420 foot tall tower. After some accidents, the roller coaster had to close for a few seasons, but is now going to be running for the 2024 season as Top Thrill 2. First, you'll experience a 70 mile per hour launch up the tower. You'll roll back down and hit a 100 mile per hour backwards launch up the 420 foot tall spike. After you come off the spike, you'll hit 120 miles per hour as you'll reach the top of the tower and complete the roller coaster just like original Top Thrill Dragster. But I think Top Thrill 2 will hold the third spot mainly because of that 100 mile per hour backwards launch. And my prediction, if you want to put in the comments down below your prediction for the wait time on opening day for it, if you get it right correctly, I will send you just a little something from Park Hoppers Productions and our Park Hoppers Radio, our podcast we run. But your comments have to be in before opening day. They have to be in before April if you're watching this. So my prediction, it's going to be three and a half hours long for opening day. I just hope Top Thrill Dragster can run with the efficiency and the consistency that it should with some parallel with the new thing because Intamin, it was not reliable at all. It broke down all the time. It was Top Thrill downtime. It was a lawn and more ornament for many years. Going into our number two spot, we have Maverick, this Intamin roller coaster that truly changed the entire Coaster Wars in 2007, is small but mighty. With a 110-foot drop, it truly packs a punch. You get some whippy transitions, whippy inversions, some great airtime, and a second launch out of the roller coaster. Every element on Maverick just hits perfectly in this ride, no matter the time you're riding. This could be in the rain, it could be in the sun, it could be at night. This roller coaster hits perfectly anytime you ride it, and some consider it the number one roller coaster in the park. There is some Maverick haters out there, but it's okay. I think Maverick truly holds the test of time. It'll forever be in my top 15 slash top 10 roller coasters I've ever rode. And going into our number one spot, we have Steel Vengeance made by RMC, which was formerly Mean Street. Mean Street was a rough... Rattly roller coaster, but I still loved it. But RMC came in and made this in 2018 slash 2019 into Steel Vengeance. Steel Vengeance broke many records for being the longest, tallest, and fastest hybrid roller coaster in the entire country. You go through many inversions, you have a great over 200 foot drop. You'll go through four inversions, many, many airtime hills with the overbank turns, which truly fling you out of your seat. This roller coaster is probably the best roller coaster in the entire world according to many enthusiasts slash roller coaster fans. RMC truly did a beautiful job making this roller coaster, and it couldn't be more perfect. There isn't many roller coasters like Steel Vengeance down the world, and if you have the opportunity to ride it, like I said, it's one of the best roller coasters you will ever ride in your entire life. This was my top 10 rankings of every roller coaster at Cedar Point, and then I gave you my 17 to 10. But these are my top 10 roller coasters. If you agree with me, comment down below, and if you disagree with me, Comment down below your rankings of your top 5, 10, or your number one roller coaster at Cedar Point. I'm Austin from Park Hoppers Productions slash Park Hoppers Radio, our podcast we run if you want to listen on Spotify and Apple. But if you have a video suggestion, comment down below, and it can be considered for next week's video. But make sure you comment it down below and subscribe for more theme park content.